Good morning, everyone. Well, 11 now, <laughs> so almost good morning after the social yesterday. So my name is Florian Hibler, I'm working for Arista Networks. And I'm gonna tell you a bit what's already here and what's coming with 400 gig, and even doing a quick outlook um, to the next, well, let's say two years, um, what's coming beyond 400 gig. Um, as this is a lightning talk, I, I actually make it pretty quick here. Um, first of all, let's talk about optics. So what kind of optical form factors will we see with transceivers? Mostly there are two form factors we will see in the near future. One is QSF PDD. Um, obviously has the advantage that the form factor is similar to QSF P28. So you can use 100 gig optics in your 400 gig ports. Just makes it a pretty expensive 100 gig port in this case. Um, the problem with QSFP, and um, it has been in several other presentations already, is the power budget. You can put through a QSFP optic because it's just hard to cool. There have been options presented um, with so-called extended optics, where you have a heat sink in front of the port, which just makes the optics stick out a bit more. The electrical interface on those optics can either be 8 times 65 gig CERTES or 4 times 112 gig CERTES. Um, 112 gig is currently still in development, and as you can actually see down here on, on this nice graph, um, there are challenges to get the uh, synchronicity and the signal on the electrical side. So. It's nice that it's backwards compatible, but it's really hard to look in the, into the future with QSF PDD. Um, well, obviously, due to the form factor, you can achieve quite a density on one um, U, which would be, in this case, up to 36 times 400 gig on one, um, on one rec unit. So um, the other one, which is currently competing in the market, is OSFP. OSFP is also um, a form factor which has been brought up by several other vendors and can, as the optic is slightly larger, um, actually, well, it has a <laughs> way larger um, power envelope in this case. So currently we already demonstrated up to 20 watts um, per optic. So if you look at here on the optic itself, it has like a passive heat sink on top which makes it possible that the optic will be, um, well, <laughs> provides better cooling in this case. Which also brings us back to an option of optics we had in the 10 gig space, which are the ZR optics, and ZR plus in the future even. So reaching 120 kilometers up to, with ZR plus later on, up to 1,000 kilometers with amplification should be possible just on, on this particular optic. It has the, the electrical connector has also been optimized um, on 400 gig signals, so, well, and, and 800 gig in this case, so also 112 gig um, service. As you can see here, the synchronicity on the, uh, on the electrical side is, is way better. Right now, availability on the optical side, we have um, eight lane and four lanes, so that means either an LR4 or an LR8. Um, as I will say in one of the next slides, LR8 is more or less supposed to die rather sooner than later. Um, also, there's an OSFP to QSFP adapter. Um, so if you go for the wrong form factor or the better form factor or however you want to call it, there is at least some kind of um, compatibility between OSFP and QSFP DD. The adapter itself is purely mechanical. So. We all know 10 gig LR, 100 gig LR4. There are new optics coming, new optics types, new um, abbreviations. So like DR4, FR4, um, ZR was already known. Um, those are more in the 500 meters to two kilometers range and I will mostly focus right now on single mode fibers with this audience because I think it's the more important ones. What's also interesting, you can do breakouts with those. So several 400 gig optics provide breakouts on up to four times 100 gig. 
which like just imagine you have a 32 times 400 gig in one rack unit gives you 120 gig, uh, 100 gig also just in one rack unit. The LR and FR8, which are also on the market currently in the CFP form factor, <clears throat> are more or less, as I said, doomed to move forwards as the electrical connector moves from 25 gig or 28 gig actually to uh, uh, 56 gig 30s. And therefore, it's, it's lacking compatibility essentially. So we're moving forward in the future with um, LR4. If you look at the power envelope and the reach of those optics, um, you will have uh, like a cheap, cheaper FR4 optic, um, which has a reach of about two kilometers, um, LR4 up to 10 kilometers. It's pretty standard as it is already with 100 gig. Then um, there's also the DR4, um, which is then using an MTP cable to actually break out inside the own data center. So it kind of makes the whole thing interesting. This is how the particular optics will be connected. As you can see, you have several optics being connected with the LC connector, as you have it right now in the data center. Um, <clears throat> there are also, there's a kind of a new connector type. I've, I've personally never seen it before. It's the 2CS. It looks like two mini LCs in one optic. So four fibers in this case going into the optic. Um, this optic you can also then run in the so-called 200 gig mode and break out, um, <coughs> sorry, um, two times 100 gig out of a 400 gig optic. Um, I guess over the more or less nearer future you will see a lot of 400 gig LR4 popping up. Um, there are several internet exchanges working on 400 gig already. Some of them already have it in production right now. And well, then if we look a bit forward, let's say 2020, 2021, 2022, um, 800 gig is already in progress. So the idea with the uh, OSFP form factor is it is time to evolve in this case. So you're moving away from one form factor like the QSFP towards another one, but if you do the step from 400 to 800, you don't need to replace your line cards and all your optics because you can't use them anymore. Um, for 800 gig, you definitely need 100 gig 12 30s, um, so on 30s on the electrical side in this case, and obviously they need way more power. So power is really a large issue with, um, with this kind of bandwidth as well. Um, Probably one of the really interesting things for you, and let me go back a slide, is um, out of the, what was it? I think the DR4, um, there is kind of a, a new optic out there, which is a DR1. DR1 is a single 100 gig um, lambda optic, which essentially makes the optic dirt cheap because you don't need any MUX or DMUX in the optic itself. So I, it reaches about two kilometers. So I guess this is really just guessing by myself. Um, this could become a new standard because it makes 100 gig actually dirt cheap. So even if you're not interested in 400 gig right now, 400 gig brings some advantages to you um, as a potential 100 gig user as well. So. Um, that was my lightning talk. Any quick questions? I have about one and a half minutes left. <laughs> All right, thank you.